guys. How is it going? Monday night. Johnny Jalopy. What do we got going on tonight? Oh, we started? We started. Oh, no. <laughs> Bring it in 2020. Bring it out. Bring it in. Bring it out. Bring it in 2021. And now into 20, the end of 2020. Our last. What are you even trying to, I don't know. You're trying to spit it out. Shut up. We're a little disheveled. It's our uh, last episode of the year. Yes, December 28th. Wow. How many have we done so far? A lot. <laughs> I, don't think we, I don't think we missed any this year. Yeah, we did. Mondays? There were a couple. You think so? Yeah, I wasn't feeling well one night. That didn't stop us. Yeah. Did it? I think so. Hmm. Um, but we did We did put in a pretty full year. Well, maybe if Hank Dutton's on the program, he can tell us. I'm sure he probably will pull it up in his Dutton O. Dutton O. Dutton O. No stuff 9,000. And I'm sure he probably knows we are exactly merely, how many we've done this year. We are merely a spreadsheet to him. <laughs> We're <laughs> merely like meerkat um, manner. Let me. Tell hey, you are good? I was going to tell you who we have on the broadcast, but before we do that, mm -hmm. so you can get started. Yeah. Hey, uh, what do you drawing? Well, I just want Ghostbusters. Uh, Ghostbusters. Now, is it the actual Ghostbusters car? Yeah, they, that they, they drive around in. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's what it was called. Well, here we go, guys. Do you know why? Do you know what ecto is short for? Ectoplasm. Okay. I don't know if you knew that. I've actually watched the movie. We'll find out <laughs> if Eddie B has watched the movie. I That's have exactly seen what I wrote. It. That's what I had. Oh, I know. <laughs> You've seen all the movies Dungeons and Dragons, or as you like to call it, Smokey and the Bandit. Whatever. All right, let me tell you what we got on, because we got about like 40 people on right no now. No kidding. Yes. Okay. So while Johnny gets busy uh, drawing. Well, first of all, you, well, you know, Sketchy Live is every Monday night at 9.30. Yes. Here on Facebook. And hey, if you're following on, on live, we're not live, but if you're watching this now on YouTube. Yes, we were Welcome live to point. Sketchy Live, <laughs> the playback, boing, slash, um, and uh, we sure appreciate you. Uh, please hit and subscribe and also hit the uh, notification bell. You got to add these things now to uh, let to let you know uh, when uh, we will post another video. So yes. thanks for hanging out. Cool. All right. Let me get to now we've taken care of those. Now we've got folks. all of that out of the way. Um, Johnny is going to start. Did you pre sketch? I didn't do a pre sketch because I'm oh. trying to keep it short, not short, but not be two hours. Really? I'm going to try. Good. That's our goal. Shut That's up. our resolution for 2020. It is not. <laughs> you know, what, you know what, It's my resolution to get what, some sleep on Monday nights. I think you just need to know it's not going to happen. Okay. Hey, if you get an opportunity, johnnyjalabi.com. We're with cool kids wear, hats, stickers, yes. and much, much more to come, in right? fact. We have some exciting things coming. So, um, All righty. Let me tell you who we got on. We've got Maddie Bunce joining us. Maddie the Bunts. We've got Draco Cycles. D Sykes. Us. Nice. Sykes. T Caldwell. Um, T he's, Caldwell. He's in Palmetto. Um, and so like Ty, the um, olive? Palmetto. Or like the bug? Ty, we got your message. Wasn't yeah. It? Yes. Um, we had already had plans that evening. Let's, yeah, okay. I didn't, I didn't know that that was the day he was coming in. I, I, I love how you've thrown it back on me, though. How did I throw it back on yeah, you? Well, didn't brought, even mention you. Well, I brought it to your attention. Oh, not now you did. No, because it was after our evening on Saturday when uh, Johnny had looked at his phone and said, oh, shoot, Ty reached out. So I'm sorry if we missed and you. And I said. If you are back in the Tampa area let us know when you will be here and we'll see if it jives with our schedule because I did not know when you were coming and we didn't have any time set aside because I didn't have a firm excuses, date. Excuses, excuses. What's your fuses? Would have loved to have get da, together, da, get together da, with you. Da, 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 we were da, actually da, enjoying da, beverages on our pool deck when you could have came by. Well, you didn't invite them. Way to go. Um, Dave Hill said, set my clock by you lately. <laughs> Well, then you're going to be a few minutes late wherever you go. <laughs> yeah. We've got the McCoys joining us all the way Whoa. from Maurice. Maurice. Thanks for joining us. Shaggy LeBlanc is tuning in. Mr. Hail. LeBlanc. 
Spud says a happy last sketchy of 2020. Spud Anderson, of course, That's tuning in from Seattle. How are um, we? How are we in Seattle? Draco said the vino done kicked in. Um, we're not drinking tonight, guys. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going. We're what do you have? Teetotaling. Well, I'm, oh, you I'm having a beverage. I'm having water. I don't know why, but I am. Um, Toby J. McLaughlin is tuning in. Hey, what's going on? Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Oh, Hank did say this is number 49 for this year. So that was only a couple Mondays missed. Why does it feel like way more than that? Because we went live so many times. We did our... No, I'm just saying it feels like I've drawn more than 49 drawings this year. I don't know. On Monday. I don't know. Uh, Okay. Thank you, Hank. Um, By the way, um, just to reiterate, last night, or last night, last week we did some giveaways. Hank, I am still waiting for you to let me know what you'd like because you did win trivia. Um, I already have Draco down. Bob McLaren had already tuned in and, and gave me his choices. Um, Julie Anderson, Jeff Bell, and Jeff Perry. I'm still waiting for your choices. Yeah, I noticed there wasn't. I was looking at uh, the, in the emails and I didn't see. No, they had uh, all, not everyone. gotten to us. So no. I was like, okay. A couple people I've already talked to, which I mentioned, but everybody else, please get back to me. Maybe um, they don't want anything. Dan Flores is tuning in. What's he says, up? You're awesome. You're awesome. Jeff. No, you're awesome. Jeff Perry said, almost forgot. Well, I'm glad you're here, and I hope you heard my shout-out. Please get with me at LLC at gmail.com and let me know what yeah, print you, you like. Some you did, freebies, you man. did win a print. Now, remember last week, we did do the very cool Back to the Future we card, did. the DeLorean. So um, check out the website. That should be up on the website. I did not get my phone. Mm-hmm. I have it plugged in. Can you banter while I run? I can banter. So tonight we're going to do the Ecto-1, and then Itty B is going to give you Perhaps. her synopsis of the film. I love to hear. We all know that's the fa- our favorite part of Sketchy Live is when we talk movies. I almost, we're so movie-oriented in, in Sketchy Live, but I just, it's it's the best because we get to hear you know, maybe how Hollywood should have made the movie. Right. <laughs> according to me. Yeah. It should be like the world according to Itty B. Move over, Garp. There's a new... <laughs> Move over, Garp. <laughs> well, good news. Most of Garp people, I think, are Gan. Right. <laughs> but yes, uh, definitely a world according to you because there is some... But I, what I, the most fun part about it is sometimes you're so close to what it is. But it's so far away. <coughs> well, I try. I try to remember. I I struggle with memory. I might, I don't think I you might really... have an issue. No. Actually. It's it's really it's what it comes down to is, you know, being a fan of film as I am. Oh my god. Uh, and you, you and your you, FOF. <laughs> I'm telling you. you you claim to be a fan of film. But uh, when it actually comes I've down to it. I never claimed to be a fan of film. Oh, you claim to know all film. I'm a fan of music. <sighs> I'm a fom. You're a fof. I'm a fom. Oh, fof. <laughs> okay. Fof, <Hank> you. Said, <laughs> <laughs> Hank said typically there are 52 weeks in a year, so we only miss three. I think that's, that's pretty good. Is that good? I think so. Every Monday night we've dedicated. I mean, this is like next to being at... Uh, our fellowship services every time there is one. This has been like a huge commitment. It has been a huge commitment. And I, I feel like this year we, so we only missed how many then? Three. I think that's pretty good. I think so. So I think, you know, as far as it goes com- in par- comparison, we really dedicated some time <laughs> this year. <laughs> To sketchy live and making it fun Can you stop and stop banging the table. No, I will not. Oh my god. Um, Jim Pollen is tuning in. Good evening, everyone, from Hobo's Hot Rod Garage. Hobo's Hot Rod Garage. It's the Hobo's Hot Rod Garage. Horse heads, New York, 36 degrees. Yikes. There you go. I just did a, a his cool jingle. Jingle for Hobo's Hot Rod Garage. Hobo's. Hot Rod Garage, it's the Hobo's Hot Rod Garage. Feel free to use it. Yeah. <laughs> Russ Randall's tuning in from not H2O Town, it's H2 Snow Town. Oh, <laughs> snowsy snows. Must be snowsin'. Um, Howard Pierpont is tuning in, 29 degrees with flurries in Greeley, Colorado. Don't get caught eating nice. the yellow snow. 
Michael Allen is tuning in. Hello, guys. Happy last episode of the year. Yes, we're so excited that you're here. Thanks for stopping by. We've got Halo Post joining us. What? Halo, I should know this, but are you 12 now? I, I want to say we were here for his birthday. I feel like we're we're just like about to where we aged can really two years this year. I mean, we can really get down and dirty because you know Halo's Halo's almost of age. You know what I mean? <laughs> we start talking about cool stuff like gambling and and uh, no, y- you know, uh, no, you know what I'm saying? Like like all the stuff from uh, yeah. What's Whoa. that? What's that car game that the kids play? But it's they really the shouldn't be playing game? it. The video game. Oh, Grand Theft Auto. Yes. Yeah. We can, Inappropriate. I look, that really, you really showed your age there, babe. Right. <laughs> What's that stuff where you take a little plastic disc and you set it on a thing that spins? <laughs> and all that loud, obnoxious sounds come out. <laughs> and then I tell you to put it on mute. Yeah. There's no mute to record players. Oh, you were talking about a record player? <laughs> I'm talking about. I don't know. <laughs> DCCF is joining us. Good evening, Johnny, Itty B, and the whole team. Well, good from evening, sir. France. Viva La, La France. France. Trenor Sears is joining us. That's a new name. Yeah. Nice setup, buddy, he says. Thank you. Johnny is actually drawing on the Microsoft Surface Book. And, and she still looked at her notes. <laughs> Sketchable. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Rich Cause joining us. Hey, you guys. Welcome hey, to the broadcast, Rich. Hey, you guys. Um, Bob Hollett is tuning in from California. Well. Welcome. Howdy. We've got Harry Wood from Des Moines, Iowa. What's going on? Mike Swit- Smith. Sorry, Mike Swit- Smith. And and wit. From Marshfield, Wisconsin. Cool. Fantastic. Thanks for joining us. Probably cold in Wisconsin. I think it's negative ah, three. On Wisconsin. On Wisconsin. <laughs> um, Bobby Lane, on Jackson, Mississippi, Colorado. joining us. Jackson. Hank Dutton said, sorry, I've been heads down on the site. Eek. Hmm? What? Heads oh, down. maybe he's just taking. Hank is improving our website for Mega us. Mega improvement. I cannot I wait. I can't wait either. Holy it's going to be so much better. The stuff that. He's already shown us. Yep. Dang, it's cool. There is going to be so much room on that page for activities. There really is <laughs> going to be a ton of room. It's going to be fun. Um, Draco said, I got right with the boss on my stuff. Nice. Yes, you did. Thank you for getting with me. Uh, Julie said, I sent my email just a bit ago. Okay, great. Then I will get that from you. Um, Jeff Perry wants to know if he can do a hat. Um, I will go ahead and mark that down. Yes, please visit the website, johnnyjalabi.com. We've got hats and stickers. Uh, and, of course, we're heading into 20... What is it? 2021. And there will be new merch. New merch. New merch. New pricing. I've got some new some designs. Uh, there is <clears throat> talks of a full color t-shirt. Ooh, interesting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I will tell you guys this. We have, and Johnny and I have not done a meeting yet, and we may not roll it out effective 1-1, one, because one, again, we have not had our meeting yet. However... Have we had our meeting yet? No. Okay, just making sure. There is new pricing coming. Um, we will continue to honor the current pricing. And really, the only ch- price changing is not... We don't know. Not, mm, we don't know. Oh, we don't? Okay. We don't know. Um, oh, you're just getting them ready. Current pricing is going to be good through January 15th. I'm going to say that. Oh, look at you. Um, effective January 15th, there will be new pricing, but we need to discuss. Good news. ADB is a sucker. I'm on it. So she yeah. will probably still honor. <laughs> oh, who's in the house? Wayne Phelps. Haven't heard that name in quite a while, what is Wayne. What's going on? Hope you're doing well. Yeah. Um, Stacy Conine is joining us. Good evening, all. What is going on? We We've appreciate got, you stopping by. Danny Moorhead is tuning in. Cool, cool. Trenor Sears is laughing at your FOF. <laughs> I am a fan of film. Yes, you are a fan of film. Um, Julie said Ghostbusters was on earlier tonight. Was it? Hmm, interesting. I wonder if that's why. Did you? Is that? Did you know? Did you know? Yeah. Is that why you're doing this? Whatever. 
Did you like check all the movies? I am a fan of film, <laughs> and I know when it's on. You can't even say that anymore. You just have to call yourself a foff. A foff? Okay, <laughs> I'm a foff. Draco said, "Gotta count the Hardys live." That's true. We did do a Hardys live episode. Where we had the Laurel. Hardys. Okay, you weren't at the Laurel. No, he's talking about when we drew. I stuff. know. Okay. Hank said, "So far this year has been the best year for sketches." There has been a good collection of different sketches to look at. Just wait until the site is live. Indeed. I cannot yes. wait. There's, there's, yeah. You've actually done a lot of movie cars this year. I did. And I really stepped, Iconic movie cars. Um, so there was a part of me that for the longest time didn't want to pull the trigger and do movie cars because, well, because everybody does them. And I was worried, well, mine will just fall kind of in the... Oh, by the way, sorry. There's somebody doing more. <clears throat> oh, look at he's doing the Ghostbusters car. Never seen that before. Yeah, but you're not drawing it exactly the way it was. You're putting your I'm own trying, spin on it. I mean, I'm trying to stay pretty close to. Well, so it's recognizable. Sure. Sure. But I'm, you know, I'm, again, we're, if you see how quick I'm moving through this, I am definitely adding some sketchy sketch sketch. Right. We're not sticking to. I mean, I did do have an underdrawing. As you notice, as you as you're watching, you can totally see, not too hard to follow, that I am not sticking necessarily to exactly what I undersketched. Right. You know, we're we're taking the good parts, and I'm trying to enhance and what as well. Uh mm huh. -hmm. So you know, we're still making it fun and you know sketchy. And the pre-sketch is also hand drawn by you, so this yeah. isn't something that he traced. Yeah. I'm just, you know, I'm working an idea that I had, the pre-sketch. Right. Pre-sketch allows me to, at least at this stage, I'm laying this stuff down and I'm not so focused on, you know, do I have my perspective correct and all those kinds of things that I would be doing as I'm setting the sketch up. Right. Now I can just, on the feel of it, the fun of it. Right. The, the cool, the, the fun parts. Just fill it in. Yeah. Nice. We've got Dale Renner tuning in. Thanks for watching, Dale. What is Hope up? up? Yeah. Alex Kuderon is joining us. Hi, everyone. So I hope you uh, are enjoying and have enjoyed Sketchy Live. If it's your first time here, thanks for stopping by. Indeed, guys. And if you're a vet, uh, welcome to the Army, and we sure appreciate you. I want to get caught up on who's here, and then we'll dive into this. Go um, ahead. I ain't stopping we'll you. We'll dive into the plot. Gary Porter said 362 days till Christmas. <laughs> He's one of those. People. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Tyler Post is not 12. Or I'm sorry, it's Halo, actually. Halo, then how old are you? Are you still 11? Mama Wood He's like, I'm 37. Tim. I've said this from the get-go, <laughs> and yet you keep saying I it. am an adult. Um, <laughs> Mama Wood and Tim are in the house. In the... Love you guys. Yes, we do. Um, Trenner Sears, yes. GTA Vice City is great. Okay. Well, I've never played that show i was gonna say show i've never played that game i don't even know anyone who has it i, I used to have it you did yeah before i knew you that's not true ed lou cheesy's joining us hello happy end of the year mr indeed, lou cheesy <clears throat> draco said it's always negative three in wisconsin see and i knew that um alex kuderon said he's from brooklyn michigan cool brooklyn in the house jeff perry is from belding michigan I think I knew that. I think I did know that. Um, Hank said, I need to be in this meeting. And then he's winking about our price changes. Yes, we will let you know what's going on. Um, Draco said, where will this meeting be held? We are not sure yet. That's the luxury of Generally uh, at an living outback. with your business partner. Generally at an outback steakhouse. Living house. room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it living room? Is it kitchen? Is it? Most of the meetings we've had, uh, you've, you've insisted in your contract, it's in there. All meetings will be at Outback. Outback Steakhouse. Front booth by the bar. Right. <laughs> Accompanied by a Bloomin' Onion or Bloomin' or Petals. The petals. Yeah. Petals, I'm enjoying. You're pretty Timmy you're pretty... Kalutsis joining us. Hey, hey, from Australia. What's going on? Welcome, welcome. Um, Matt Bunt said he's not telling her where the meeting would be held. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Hank said, Itty, in GB2, what color was the slime that was under the road? See, he's already quizzing me. There's already trivia. Um, slime is generally green. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with green. But GB2. Oh. 
Do you know what GB2 is? Ghostbusters 2? Hey, look at you. I don't know. I do not know. I'm going to go with green. Um, Jim Holland said, love the hobo's hot rod garage jingle. Thank you, sir. <laughs> How funny. Lizzie Daughtry is joining us tonight. Welcome, Lizzie. A Chongo NorCal. Mr. Chongo NorCal. He, he said, love it. The sketchy, the sketchier, the sketch. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, yes, Halo is 11. Okay. May 19th, he'll be turning 11. So oh. I guess he's 10 now. Gotcha. I can't keep up. <laughs> These kids today, and they're <laughs> aging. He's actually been the same age I know. the entire time. Um, Nick Bray joining us. Howdy from Oz. What's going on? We've got a lot of Australia in the house. We today. are super grateful for yeah. your guys' following us and support. We love it. We hope someday we will get to come. I to know. Australia. How bad ass would that be? I would love it. Oh my gosh. Just to see a kangaroo. That's of all the things in Australia, that's what you want to go see? Yes. A kangaroo. Yes. We have one at the zoo. It's not the you same. You spent two minutes with it and you're like, eh, that's a kangaroo. He wasn't even paying attention to he it. He totally was. He was not. He was showing you his sack. No, he was not. <laughs> <laughs> Draco said you should stream the meeting live. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we can get everybody's input. Right. Stacy Cohn, I must know. Okay, I'm curious. What kind of music do you guys listen to? Well, when you say you guys, it's really his music and then my music. There's some music we enjoy together, but you have a very different prior genre than I do prior, where we came from. What do you mean? Explain, because I don't... What? What kind of music do we listen to? Uh-huh. You would say we listen to the same music? No. Then that's exactly what I just said. But it was this whole said. prior thing. Prior to meeting you, you had a whole... You listened to one music. No, I didn't. Two musics. I had a lot of artists that I enjoyed. I'm an 80s music fan. When I met you, all you were listening to... I'm an 80s fan. 80s fan. <laughs> <laughs> fan of music. <laughs> F-O-M. Fan. Um, I like... Where are you from? I like Springsteen. I like... Um, really, I like the 70s stuff, too. Boston, Foreigner, um, Loverboy, uh, all How of those. How was Loverboy 70s? 70s, early 80s. Late 70s, early aye, 80s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, since then, like anything in the 80s, mm -hmm. really... Um, Johnny, on the other so hand... So you were saying I didn't listen to 80s music you before did. you? You did, but you were into more, like, Flock of Seagulls and... No. <laughs> no. What What was your people? You tell me. I don't know. Apparently you know this whole... Still, he used to listen to, like, Beastie Boys. I didn't listen to that. Like okay. I, I listened to... Yeah, I knew I a couple to, Beastie I listened Boys to hip -hop. songs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so he used to listen to a lot of hip-hop. I did not listen to right. a single Listen to a lot of punk pop. rock. Heavy metal, thrash yeah. metal. See, I didn't listen to that. Death metal. My metal was like Def Leppard, White Lion, Poison. So you listen to glam rock. 80s glam rock. Right. So, and now I find I tend to um, enjoy, what would you call the country that I listen to? Classic? That you listen to? Classic country? Mm, you like, you like the, you like all of it. I do. But I don't like I don't like a lot of the newer stuff. Only you, certain newer artists. Only certain newer artists. Okay. Okay. So right. So me, yeah, classic country. But I do early not country. Own, I do not own a cowboy hat or boots. <laughs> no, you do not. So even when you did, you did not. <laughs> so I am not full fledged country. R what? I'm a little bit country. You're a little bit rock and roll. Hailing all the way from the Jersey Shore, <laughs> you're here to tell me that you're not country? No. What? Raphael VW is tuning in. I've been sold. Power. I've been sold something completely different than I was aware of. Okay, now this person's name is J-E-N-S, and I know it's not Jens. I think it's Jans. Jans Olsen. Nice that work. That sounds about right. Nice work. Hank says, Itty, who was the key master? And then Draco said, this should be good. <laughs> yeah, who was the key master? 
Was it the Pillsbury Doughboy? Why? Don't ask me trivia. I need to get in the swing mm. of the oh, movie right, first. Right. Oh, okay. So let's, so let's... And now he's throwing like... I don't know if it's from movie one, movie two. There's a difference. Right. Couldn't tell you what I think the you should. Is. I think you should stick to movie one. Okay. Ghostbusters, the original. Oh, Tyler, or um, Halo is 11. Okay, sorry. So he's going to be 12 in May. Wow, you just can't get his... I know. I'm sorry. Nick Bray said, that would be great to come visit us down under. We would love it. We would love it. It would be an amazing time. Hank said, you need to go to Australia so you can see if the dingo ate the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it would be great so we can see how many people we can probably offend there. That would be great. Yeah. So Howard Pierpont said, you can use my unlimited Zoom account for the meeting. Everybody wants to get in on this meeting. Yeah, what? <laughs> it's really not that much fun. It really isn't. It, it's mostly me taking notes and us arguing about something. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually you going, we can't do that. <laughs> Timmy Kaluza said, you definitely should come to Australia, guys. We would love it. Really would. Um, Hank Dutton said, chum is fun. Well, I don't understand what that is. Aye. What's F-U-M? Fum? Fan under music? No. Cat Ruiz is tuning in. What's Hi, guys. What's going on? I don't know if you guys caught the um, the rendering that she did, the little drawing yeah, of us. Yeah, she did a great little, little tune of tunage. Us. Super Very awesome. Cool. So grateful for the drawing and the shout out. Just like, again, Buddy gave us a shout out as well. Mr. Flores yes. also gave us a shout out. Yeah. So thank you, sir. Appreciate it. We appreciate Much it. Much love to you. Again, uh, if you get a chance, go check out his stuff. Phenomenal. Uh, just how to do things and how to get uh, like pumped up about being an artist and all kinds. So much great information. He's such a, uh, uh, an inspiration of someone who's really just going for it and after it and just, uh, just an amazing, uh, person just, uh, and become a, just very inspirational. So, yeah. And so Kat, I'm so grateful to have met and cat is the same thing. Cat is a phenomenal, uh, the way she did oh. the fate on my face. Yeah. And the, just the shadows. Her, her people stuff is awesome. Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah, I'm and I, super I'm finally jealous. a pinup girl. I'm finally a pinup oh, girl. Oh, are you? Oh, cool. In the picture. <laughs> sort of, kind of. Um, yeah, to the point you talk to your hairdresser and you're like, is there any way I can do... He, he said he would do it for me, so I might hit him up. You know, I might come home one Saturday with my hair all pinup. And you'll be like, what? And I'll call, so you'll basically I'll say, so you're... Polka you're, dot you're, you're, umbrella. You'll come home and you'll have hair hairdo? Pin up your hair. Okay. Why do I not have him? I don't have pin here hair now, but I might. Says who? I'm wearing a beanie right now. I, again. I haven't washed my hair in three days. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Lizzie said, I love the 80s music all the way. Indeed. Draco said, I can see Johnny with a flock of seagulls haircut. Um, no. Not far from it. There's a few mornings he wakes up and it looks that way. So, indeed. I was rocking a mohawk back then. So And a mullet for quite some time. Oh, I, was, I had my... Uh, I had not when I knew him. Very I cannot long, be judged for that decision. Very long uh, locks of hair back in yeah. the day. Um, Draco, yeah. It was the uh, old Native American in me was really creeping out. Was it? Yep. Lizzie said John Bon Jovi. I did listen to Bon Jovi quite a bit. Yeah, John Yul Bon Jovi. John Yul. Um, Jeff Perry said this is sounding like a Joe Dirt interview. Right. Possibly. Um, Hank said people are people, so why can't it be? True. Uh, Trenor Sears said yes, 80s rock is great and timeless. Indeed. Um, Chongo said then Johnny ran. He ran so far away. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Howard Pierpont said the country station with more listeners than any other in the country was canceled in the early 2000s because it was 10th in the market. Which market? Um, I'm going to say station, he said. No. The country station with more listeners than any other in the country was canceled in the early 2000s because it was 10th in the market. Which market? 10th hmm. in the which market for what? Radio? Yeah, I'm going to assume like where? Maybe Texas? I almost want to, it would be, wouldn't be surprised if it was Nashville. No, oh, maybe. Um, Chongo said, I'd buy tickets for that meeting. <laughs> Everybody wants Why? to go to this meeting. Oh, 
my gosh. You guys are funny. Uh, Hank said, Itty, in uh, Ghostbusters 1, why don't you cross the streams? Yeah, why don't you? Streams. Yeah, what are the streams, by the what way? What are streams? Oh, you haven't watched Ghostbusters. You've seen it, Dylan? Yes. My son apparently has seen it. You've watched it I've almost watched every it. New Year's Eve when we had your kids. We always got Ghostbusters. No, we didn't. Okay. I don't remember. I don't know what the streams are. Well, maybe once. From their fucking... <gasps> I don't oh remember what goodness. the streams are. Kat said that she started following Mr. Flores. Can't wait to learn more Adobe stuff. That's right. Cool. He, yeah. All the platforms. Doing all of it. It's just, it's insane. The, Dra guy, the guy's amazing. Draco said, did she answer the key master yet? No. She did not. She avoided it like the plague. Bob McLaren's tuning in. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the broadcast tonight. Um, here's, here's where she always falls under the. I'm, I'm just trying to keep the trying to keep up with the, the show the, going yeah. and where people are coming in and out. And Johnny is I drawing the Ghostbusters car the, tonight. The Ecto One. What does Ecto stand for? Ectoplasm. I know what Ectoplasm is. What is it from? It's it's a spiritual. Um, it is a spirit. Uh, well, I wouldn't say ghost. It is, um, I can't define it right now, but I, I have an actual book that talks about ectoplasm and has photos of it. Right, so. right. In any way, in any case. Is that the, uh, is that the Ghostbusters coloring book you're talking no, about? No, it's not. Um, Chongo said a Joe Dirt mullet. Yes, pretty It much. wasn't dirt -ay. He had He had a nice My hair. mullet. Ladies loved LLM. Ladies loved mullet. It wasn't a mullet. <laughs> LLM was, on the FOF. It, it was. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it was very much. It was mullet. party in the rear, but yeah. for the times, it wasn't a mullet. Yeah. Um, Kat said, "I looked. I looked at your pics for the drawing, and I used a pic that you had pin up hair already." Oh, I don't know which one that would be. I don't. Again, know. I think you don't understand what pin up means. You're 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 taking one thing about it and making it that. It's not that. It's a whole thing. You, I think you already the way you dress and the way you hold yourself is very sexy and very strong and all those things. And that's pinup quality. Yeah. Huh. And I do own Converse, so I guess I <laughs> am a pinup. <laughs> I do own Converse. I do and heels. I can go either way. And you have an umbrella. On, and I do have a... I need a new umbrella. I think I've actually lost my umbrella. That would have been a great Christmas gift for yeah, me. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. <clears throat> I didn't want um, to support your umbrella habits. Yeah. <laughs> Alan Shoemaker's joining us. Hello from Pennsylvania. But my daughter is in your neck of the woods. I need to get back down there for a visit again soon. Well, come on by. The more the merrier here in Florida. Right. Safe travels if you're going to do that, though. Um, Jerry Amaral's joining us. Good evening. CJ Custer is tuning in. What's um, up, Custer? Chris, I've got to tell you, amazing gnome Santa, not Santa, gnome Christmas yeah. designs. Yeah, rocking the gnomes. Love them. Rocking the gnomes. Oh, they are cute. Christmas time. Chris is a local oh. artist here in Tarpon Springs and is just absolutely amazing. Love your stuff. One day I will own something of yours. I will. Um, Draco said Greeley, Colorado. <laughs> Why? He's not in Greeley, Colorado. Unless he went for a trip. Um, Hank said, Itty, who brought the dog to the party? I don't know. Oh, unless he's talking about Dylan. Ghostbusters, babe. Oh, there was a party? Oh my God. I don't remember. I, I must not recall the movie at all. I, I can't wait to hear your version of it then. I remember that it wasn't the Pillsbury Doughboy. It was the Stay Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Boy? Was it a boy or a man? Was it a boy? You're telling the story. Babe. I don't know. I'm asking. Who was it? Was You're it man? telling the story. Shango said, I can't say much. I had a mullet style cut too. I think everybody might have at that time. Um, Draco said, pin up-ish is always good. Um, the McCoy You're said... You're quite sick, isn't it? Brian used to have the Jesus' ugly brother hairdo, hair down his back. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think 
think we all did. It was the, you know, you weren't you weren't doing glam stuff, but you were, you know, you definitely had some some long hair, at least for me. Mm-hmm. Of course, you, on the other hand, when I see pictures of you, it reminds me of home. And, you know. My hair was like three feet I know. off my head. You guys in Jersey were rocking the stuff that the Cholo girls were, were wearing in uh, East L.A. Right. You, you could have easily, and they would have been like, what are you even doing? Do you remember my, my whole sweater off the shoulder? Well, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and the 72 rubber bands on your arm, mm-hmm. which is weird. Why did you do that? 14 socks. I 29 did. layers of shirts. I had like three pairs of socks on. Yeah. Halfway up. <laughs> did that life. make you sweat? Yeah. What size shoe did you wear? A 13? I was an eight back then. Those right. But you had like 14 pairs of socks on. So what size would you wear? I don't even know. Do not even know. Um, Kat said, yes, Johnny nailed it. So your definition of pinup. Oh. Um, Julie said, Sweet. do you mean updo instead of pinup? No, um, I don't ever wear my hair up. Very rarely. You try to. Well, when I wear it in a bun. Ugh. <laughs> he doesn't like it in a bun. It's horrible. Now, there have been times where I've done the bun with the wisps. and you're Well, okay the bun with wisps, wisps are fine. Yeah, you're okay with bun wisps. Yeah. Anything other than a bun wisp? I am sent to my room. No. To change my uh, tanks. <laughs> Howard Pierpont said, answer is New York City 1996 format went to pop. W Y N Y next country, 2013, according to New York times. So it was in New York. Hmm. Interesting. I wouldn't have guessed that at all. Um, Draco said, I've seen those pics and I can't unsee them about Brian's hair. (laughs) Um, We've got Estefania Eldridge tuning in my niece from New Jersey. Talk about a, she could totally pull off a pin uppy look, I bet, with her hair and her moves. Yeah, she is a Zumba instructor in New Jersey and is amazing. And she's beautiful. So I think she could totally pull off the pin up look. Steph, next time I come up, we'll have to get together and I think you count yourself out way too much. I am not I don't see myself pin uppy. Um Jeff Perry said in fridge. I don't know what oh. Is that one of the answers to one of the questions that I missed? Probably. Uh, Jerry Emerald said it was the Michelin man. I thought it was the Stay Puff Marshmallow. It was. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I finally got one right. And then he (laughs) laughed. Okay. Um, Chongo said Aquanet was in the air. Indeed. For sure, bro. I walked in a For days. 24-7. Yeah. Like you laid your head on the pillow and then sprayed it so it had the... No, like I never did. You had did half a CD, event. like a giant record. No, but I used to fall asleep with the sponge curlers in my hair. Mm. That's why I have all the dents in my skull it's from the many years of my mom pulling it tight. I'm surprised I have hair left. I I, I would agree. Um, Stacy said, "Okay, I forgot where to go to be able to order the Corvette summer car. I want to order a shirt, but I need a size tall. But I'm going to order a hat and stickers." Stacey, we do not have a size tall, but I would recommend just going up a size because that has seemed to work for other tall people. Yes. Um, so maybe try that. Uh, just hit me up on email right now. We do not have the shopping cart uh, ability available yet on the website, but you can go to johnnyjalopy.com. Down at the bottom, there's a link to our email, and that's where you will place your orders. That Corvette summer car was a sketchy live design, and it's $15. Um, if it's not a sketchy live design, at least for right now, those are 15. Any other prints on, uh, Johnny's Facebook page under art for sale or prints for sale, those are 25. I had somebody today, um, want to order a few. And when he got the invoice, he was a little confused because they were not 15. Only the sketchy live prints. Yeah. So that's what you see me doing here. And we definitely make sure that we mark them as specifically, and the reason why they are a little less expensive is because they are completely very sketchy. Johnny's not putting a, a total ton of detail into these. And this is it, it's a price point that we worked out for people who were going to be tuning in with us as a, an yep. incentive to watch and be a part of the broadcast. Yeah, and have a good deal for a print that you were just a part of and watched happen. Yes. 
Um, Hank said, Idian, Ghostbusters 1, where did Bill Murray's character get slimed and by who? Um, he did get slimed. Weren't they in the museum? I remember one of the paintings coming to life. Was that not Ghostbusters? I'm not sure. It was Ghostbusters, but it was the second, second Ghostbusters. Mm. Jerry Emerald said he's loving the detail in this sketch. So it's detail without a ton of detail. That's what we try to do. Right. Draco said she's not playing. She's ignoring us. No, I really just truly don't know. Again, we didn't really get a jump start on this whole plot. I'm trying to get through your guys' uh, comments here, and I'm almost caught up. Clearly she's, um, what do you call it, uh, stalling. Um, Jans Olsen said it has Mr. Stay Puffed Man. Yes. And I do remember the Stay Puffed Marshmallow. I didn't know if it was the boy or man. Apparently it's the man. So I remember, I remember the bunch of guys getting together. I remember they had the receptionist who answered the calls for them and sent them out on calls. I remember there was a love interest. Wasn't it Sigourney Weaver? Was she in it? I want to say Sigourney Weaver was in it. And her and Bill Murray's character had a thing. Mm -hmm. So that I remember. Um, I remember they used to get called out on calls to go do this. Do what? To um, suck the <laughs> ghosts into their machine. Because that's the way they did it. It was like a vacuum effect where they would trap them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so the little details of what you're talking about, no, I do not recall. I don't know where somebody first got slimed. I don't know what the color of the slime was. I don't know what the streams were, unless you're talking about the stream from their machine to the ghost that would suck them in. That is what they're talking about. Okay. So you don't want to cross the streams because if you did, it would cut off the suckability <laughs> of the ghost. <laughs> and nobody in their right mind wants to cut off the suckability. The suckability. <laughs> Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's uh, that's that's ghost busting 101. Really, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think it was I think it was uh, Dan Aykroyd that said that. What didn't he? Might have. When he was you know giving them all the. If you figured out who the key master is yet? No. Um, Jeff Bell is just joining us. Jeff, um, early in the broadcast, I did mention your name. I still need you to reach out to me uh, because you were a trivia winner last week, and we owe you a print. So you need to uh, let me know which one you like. I would, mean, unless you just don't want it, man. If you would hit Whatever, me dude. Up. Jeff Bell said, who are you going to call? <laughs> Bo Scusters. Right. Jerry Emerald said, easy, this is a family show. <laughs> uh, Draco said, crossing streams is bad for more than suckability. That's right. Justin Weir said, good day to my favorite East Coast Americans. <laughs> What's going on? We are actually, we're on the west coast of Florida, but oh we my, are on here the we east go. coast of the United States. But we're, but logistically, I thought logistics, we were the, I thought we were the west. We are the west coast hmm. of Florida, east coast of the United States. Over the east coast now? We've always been the east coast. Oh, we're east coast now? We're down south. But, oh wait, we're east coast, but up north is New Jersey, not east. It's, we're east. It's east as well, but we're from east here, coast. it's up north. Anyone from Jersey is going to consider themselves in the north. Therefore, if Why they Why would they consider themselves in the north when they say, hey, you want to go back east? Where are they talking about? If you're out west. Where are they talking about? If you were here. Anybody. It depends on where you are when you're talking about it. Anybody but you folks if from New Jersey. If you're in Texas, Any of, anybody you're going to say... Have yeah. you been have you been out east? Yeah. They're not talking about Florida. If you're in Florida, you would go, have you been up north? And you're still no, referring you wouldn't. to Jersey. Yes, you do. Oh, oh my goodness. Dylan Klingo's tuning in. Huh. My son Dylan That's weird. from the couch behind us. <laughs> Is that a club he's in? Uh Jerry Emerald said New Jersey only identifies by exit numbers. LOL. That's true. Um, Hank said. Itty, in Ghostbusters 1, what part of the movie did Carl Winslow show up and make an appearance? Carl Winslow. <laughs> that was from Family Matters. He was the police officer. Right. And I don't think he was in Ghostbusters. Are you sure? I'm pretty positive he was not. I think he's trying to throw me off. Are you sure? Oh, he was in Die Hard, yes. 
Jeff Bell said, I would love the smoky, oh, the smoked bandito, <laughs> a.k.a. Turd Ferguson, a.k.a. Tom Selleck and Sissy Spacek. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Jeff, who were the main characters I in this movie? put you down for that. I had, um, let's see, hold on, Smokey and The Bandit. Turd Ferguson. <laughs> Um, Justin Weir said, wow, I opened up a can of worms. <laughs> yeah, you did. This is, this is something that we just agree to disagree no, on. No, we Justin. don't disagree. I don't disagree at all. I live in Florida. Okay. When I refer to my Everyone homeland. Else, I know. And you're it's up wrong. North. I'm not wrong. It's east. I'm not wrong. Oh, God. Listen, to, I'm from uh, Hawaii over here. Chiming he, in. He was in Hawaii. He's not from Hawaii. He was born in Hawaii. Oh, he's Hawaiian then? Well, he stems what? from Hawaii. Mm. I mean, the earth didn't birth him, so he's not from Hawaii necessarily, but he was born there. No big Is whoop. Is he Hawaiian then? Draco said, honey, I shrunk the ghosts. <laughs> yeah, who played the key master? I don't know. Come on. You just got a clue right there. Oh. Oh, Rick Moranis. Oh, my goodness. What did he, why was he the key master? He was a scientist. He was the smaller guy. <laughs> he was a scientist. He was a scientist? The group. Oh. Wasn't he? <laughs> Good to know. Wasn't he? <gasps> was Honey, I Shrunk the Kids a spinoff from Ghostbusters? <laughs> Let's hear your version. No. How did it go? No. Um, Jeff Bell said Gulf Coast or Atlantic Coast of what? Exactly. Of Florida, we're Gulf Coast. That's where we're from. Yes. Um, so the cast of Ghostbusters, mm -hmm. Sigourney Weaver. Mm -hmm. Who did she play? She played the chick. Wow. Um, Way to bring it, bring bring women up. Yeah. She was the chick. <laughs> I don't remember what she, she was like a. Yeah, what did she, she do for mom. a living? What did she do for a living? <gasps> Wasn't she a mom? She was the mom she was just of one a, of the boys. She was, which boy? She had a baby. <gasps> it's all coming back to me. She had a baby in a crib, I remember. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, baby in a crib. There was Bill Murray. Uh-huh. There was Rick Moranis. Right. Who, there what, was who Dan was, Aykroyd. Who was, who, what, what was Rick Moranis? He was the scientist. Oh, right. That's right. He had glasses and curly hair. Right. Which uh, oh, automatically makes you a scientist. It kind of does. <laughs> okay. Kind what, was of he, what was he a scientist of? Um, he, was the, he was the guy who put together the machines and stuff. He was the machinist. Oh, he was the machinist. Yes. Okay. So he built all the, what do they call those backpacks? What do they call them? What do they call them? There is a name. And well, I, what were they called? I they were like called the uh, Ghosty Busts. No. <laughs> <laughs> the Backpack 9000s. Oh, it was a number. There was some kind yeah, of number was it on it. Was it 9000? What was it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So Rick Moranis was a machinist for the ghost. Oh, it's, it's here. The key master was an accountant. Rick Moranis was an accountant? I thought he was a... Wait. What movie is that person watching? I don't know. This is Ghostbusters we're talking about. Jeff Bell said yeah. Zool. You know, Ghostbusters where Rick Moranis played the machinist who built all the equipment for, what was the name of the group? Well, who did he Ghostbusters. build? Ghostbusters. The Ghostbusters. And who were the Ghostbusters? The Busters of Ghosts. Right, who, but who were they? Rick Moranis. Rick Moranis. Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd. How Bill many, Murray. Bill Murray. There was another one. Right. Who was that other guy? How many Ghostbusters were there? Four. So Rick Moranis, Bill Murray. Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd and... Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. I can't think of it. Bernie. Bernie? Ernie. Ernie? Ernie who? Who the heck is Ernie Hudson? Oh, wow. I've never heard of him. Wow. Sorry, Ernie Hudson. Hank said, Itty, in Ghostbusters 1, who wrote Who You Gonna Call? And for a bonus, who sued that person? <clears throat> An extra bonus, why were they sued? <laughs> 
Jeff Bell apparently knows. He says, pick me, pick me. Draco said there was another chick who was also in Corvette Summer. I don't know. Hank said, wait, the Keymaster was a scientist? Yes. Russ this- Randall knows too. Jeff Perry knows too. Who was the gatekeeper then? The geek keeper? Gatekeeper. Right. Who's the geek keeper? Jeff Bell said the plasma shooter 1400.5. <laughs> Where is that? What's that from? <laughs> He's pretty close. Was it a plasma shooter? Mm. Ectoplasm shooter. There it is. Okay. So now. The EPS. So let's. The EPS. Yes. It was the EPS. What was the number of it though? Nine thousand. Okay, so it was the EPS nine thousand. <laughs> You're and Rick it Mar- up. And you just said it. I'm asking you. Rick Moranis built the EPS nine thousands mm-hmm. for the Ghostbusters, mm-hmm. who included himself, Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray, and I don't know Ernie Hudson. Ernie Hudson, and those were the four Ghostbusters. Who is Ernie Hudson? I think he was also in Oz. He wasn't really a, like. He wasn't a big part of it. Right. He was a big part of Ghostbusters. He was? He was the black guy. Oh, I don't remember. Um, Jerry Amaral said Captain Steubing. Was- Captain Steubing. Jeff Bell said, We're ready to believe you. <laughs> right. So now, what happens? So the Ghostbusters meet Sigourney Weaver, who's a mom. Right. And she's got a kid in a crib. Yes. <laughs> The big plot. That's the major part of the plot. I remember them being in a museum of some sort. Oh, the connect. So when when did they get? <laughs> when does the baby get to the museum? <laughs> I think the baby was stolen the, by a ghost. Someone stole the baby by a ghost. A ghost. And they were stole trying the, to get it back. Okay, so like, I think is, that was the whole plot. So, that, <laughs> so that's what happened. Sigourney Weaver's baby was in a crib, and the ghost came. Steals the ghost, steals the baby, takes him to the museum. And that's where they have to go retrieve him. And that's when the whole big scene happens. What scene? The end scene where they all fire and get rid of all of them. All of what? The ghosts. How many ghosts were there? Several. Wait, where did all these ghosts there were come several from? Ghosts, and then I think they conglomerated to make one big ghost. A mega ghost? An MG, if you will. <laughs> um... Draco said, because Bustin makes you feel good. <laughs> the McCoy said, Little House of Horror, Little House of Horrors plant was possessed by Tom Selleck and was sucked up by Ben Affleck. I remember Little House of Horrors plant. It was, uh, what was his name? Little House of Horrors? It was, that was a great movie. Little Shop of Horrors. Oh. Um, and it was. Who was in that one? Seymour. Feed Me Seymour. That was Rick Moranis. Was it? I think so. Okay, Rick Moranis. I want to say. And he was Seymour? No, the Seymour was the plant. Okay. No. The plant said, feed me Seymour. Rick Moranis was Seymour. The plant was a different name. Uh, I don't remember What was his name? name? I don't remember. Jeff Perry said, I want to be a dragon master. Um, Draco said, Hudson Jr. Oh, excuse us. Michael Allen said, at the end, Keymaster asks them, who does your taxes? Was the key master the main spirit? The main ghost? Maybe. Um, John Chafin is joining us. He says, Happy New Year. John, if you're just joining us now, then you can clearly see how confused I am about Ghostbusters. This is this is the best Apparently do not know the plot. Going yeah. out on a on a <laughs> high note, Ghostbusters. So let's again, let's back track. What color pull up the Ecto one for me. I'm going to say I, there's some blue highlights. I in cannot there. remember the damn wheel color. Ecto one. I just brain farted. I wanted to say it was like a goldish color, but now I think it's not. <clears throat> Ecto one. Because it didn't have hubcaps yet when they first got it. I'm doing the. According no. to Wikipedia, the Ectomobile is a fictional vehicle from the Ghostbusters. Fr- okay, so what do you want? I just want an image images? of Images? Not the toy. That's all I brought up. Um. Russ said, powered by Mr. Fusion. Jeff Bell said, this is the best movie ever. Right? It's such a good movie. Jerry Amaral said, where we're going, we don't need ghosts. (laughs) It's a little flashback to last week, I think. 
Um, Jeff sure? said Arnie Cunningham. It was Arnie Cunningham? Yeah. So when does the book of uh, the Almanac <clears throat> come into play? Almanac? Well, yeah, the sports almanac. When does that come into play? That was, that was Back to the Future. Oh. Jerry Amaral said every week a new movie. Um, Alan Shoemaker said Erie Hudson is Mary's stepfather and knows Brett Favre. <laughs> what? Was Brett Favre in the movie? Was he even doing Oh, Brett Favre was in the movie. Yeah. Then? Oh, yeah. He was, he was a total not. main, Jeff Bell main said, dude in the movie. 100 bazillion ghosts. <laughs> Hank said but they made a, the but, mega ghost. But they made a mega ghost. Yeah, MJ. Um, Halo said, me and my dad are watching with our dogs, Mac and Rusty. Nice. nice. Are, is your dog named after the Rusty from... From what? Um, Vacation? Yeah. <laughs> I doubt it. You don't know. know. It could be. Oh. And then Draco... Or, I'm sorry. Jerry said, honey, I shrunk Seymour. Julie said, Audrey, too, was the plant. I thought that was the name... See how it's all combined? Right. That, that was, was also Vacation. The, that was also the name of the daughter in Vacation. Right. Jeff Bell said, oh, my God, smack me hard. <laughs> uh, Trenner Sears said, take off, Hoser. I'm the key master, A. Eh? That's right. Why is he saying that? Was the key master Canadian? He actually was so Canadian. So then Dan Aykroyd then. No, Dan Aykroyd was not Canadian. Rick Moranis then. Well, Rick Moranis was Canadian. It was Sigourney Weaver. He was Canadian. Sigourney was Canadian. Did he wearing the helmet? I don't know. There was a helmet involved. Um, Jeff Perry said Getty Lee. Jeff Perry also said Red Wheels. Um, yeah. Stacy said, do you remember the movie The Car, 1977? From 1977? The Car. I don't. I was six. The Car. And probably wasn't watching those types of movies. I'm trying to remember The Car. Um, Jeff Bell said, to get back to Hank, RPJ wrote the song, was sued by HL. RPJ, Huey Lewis. So he was sued by Huey Lewis. RPJ. Who's RPJ? Randy Jackson? Randy P. Jackson wrote the song and he was sued by Huey Lewis? Yeah. And Does the, that even make and sense? And the news. <laughs> Jeff Perry said there were only 13 ghosts. That's a different movie as well. Shaggy LeBlanc is tuning back in. Are we are we losing people or are people just coming back in? Well, how many do we have? Right now there's 30. Okay, so we lost a few. Um, Hank said each time the Ghostbusters went in the basement of the museum, they encountered this character. He used to make like a tree and leave. Who is this character? That's right. Do you remember? No. And he would say that. I don't remember. And he would go, Ackroyd, Ackroyd, and then do that. He wouldn't call him Ackroyd. That wasn't his name That was his movie. name in the movie, Ackroyd. No, it was not. Yes, it was. It absolutely what was. What was his name? I don't know. What, what was one of the doctor's names? Because one of them had, was a doctor. I don't know. I don't know any Peter. of their names. Peter. Sellers? Mm-hmm. No, it was <laughs> I don't know. And I, I don't even know who Peter Sellers is. I just know it's a name. You don't know who Peter Sellers is? No. Was no. he? Dun -dun -dun -dun. I was just going to say. What's that? Pink Panther. That's right. He was the which Pink was Panther. Which was a discussion last week. Yes, which was don't not just a cartoon. Either. Right. <laughs> I thought it was a comedy. It is not. It is a comedy. Oh. I thought it was a spy movie. What it is a spy just... movie. Yeah. Um, you don't Jeff think they Bell can have said, comedic spy movies? I guess they can. Get smart. Haven't right? you ever seen... Get um, smart. No, but haven't you ever seen the greatest spy movie ever? True Lies. Mm-mm. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Dylan? No, what greatest The greatest spy movie, movie ever? Like mm, well, it's close to it. What? Agent Scarn. Scarn? <laughs> The office. Mm -hmm. What was it called? Uh, oh, Michael's. Uh, yeah. What was it called? Something. Something midnight, right? Threat level midnight. Threat level midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Dork. <laughs> oh man. Busted makes me feel good. 
<laughs> Jeff Bell said, modern day warriors, today's Ghostbusters. What do you guys think of this little know. doodle egg? I you're like doing? it. I think it looks great. Like some labs, guys, if you're digging it. If you're digging the doodle egg. Draco said, uh, and they are her favorites sometimes, some weeks. RPJ wrote the song, was sued by HL. I don't know. I can't even, even with, even with. Hints. <laughs> The hints, I'm still not getting it. Um, Draco apparently loved the car movie from 1977. I don't recall. Julie said Mackenzie Brothers. Oh, yes. is that uh, two of the people? Yes. Okay. They were in the movie. They were one of the ghosts. Chongo said you should have stuck with Rick Moranis. Um, Draco said I did it for Hot Rod Inktober. Oh, okay, so he did the car. All right. Uh, Spud Anderson said Beauty Drawing A. Chango said uh, Chango, Chango. Chango said take off you hoser Shaggy said no it's just my junk computer cutting in and out well welcome back nonetheless do you know that what, what the reference that they're giving you yet no the take it hoser reference Halo said dad said he wanted to name me Rusty but mob would not go for it because of our last name because <laughs> <laughs> the last name is Post he would have been Rusty Post <laughs> Now we have a chocolate lab named Rusty, and he's nine years old. <laughs> I think at least your parents were thinking ahead for you, and they, that's how much they love you. They didn't name you Hitchin. <laughs> Hitchin Post. That's a great restaurant back home. Is it? Yeah. You didn't take me. Yeah, I can't take you everywhere. Spud said Egon, E-G-O-N. Right, who's Egon? He was probably the Rick Moranis character, because that sounds like a scientist I thought his name, name oh. You think his name was Egon? I don't know. I don't know. Did Buster make him feel good? I think it did. Um, Jerry Amaral said Peter Parker. Now I know that is not from this show. That is from a different show. Movie. Show. Movie. Um, Draco said Bob and Doug. Those were classics. Their names could have been that. Um, Jeff Bell said Inspector Clouseau. Who's that? It's an inspector. He was not in this movie. He wasn't? You just no. said he was. Inspector Clouseau? Yeah, you just said he was. No, Peter Sellers was his name. That was from the Pink Panther. Yeah, but that's what you just said. No, I didn't. Uh, Draco said the best dog name ever, Bob and Doug. <laughs> Bob Ray Bob Parker Bob Jr., Draco said. RPJ is Ray Parker Jr. Mm -hmm. That's who wrote the, the song. So why did Huey Lewis sue him? Huey Lewis did? Probably Huey Lewis did. Who's HL? Who's HL? Um, Draco said Fletch. Hank said The Spy That Shagged Me. That's another good spy movie. Um, Russ said Best Spy Movies slash Comedy, Matt Helm. I don't know what that is. Um, Spud said Venkman, Spangler, and Stance. Mm -hmm. That does sound like a law firm. Um... <laughs> Jeff Bell said there are spies like us. Is that, that is that who those three people were? No, spies like us I've seen. I've seen that. Who is in that? I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell I thought you just said you Dan saw Aykroyd. it. I've seen it. It was Dan Aykroyd. I know he he was in it and there were two other people. There were three of them. Um, Stacy said the car was a Lincoln. The windows were all blacked out or redded out. It had a horn that sounded like a semi. It ran people over, but wouldn't go into the cemetery. It was like the devil's car. You don't mm. remember who was in Spies Like Us? I don't remember. It was, uh, oh, oh, it was the guy from Roxanne, Steve Martin. No. Mm. Dan Aykroyd, Steve Martin, and, and Chevy Chase. There you go. How did I know that? I don't even know that. Steve Martin was in it? Why am I smelling baked no, bread? Steve Martin, I don't think so. That's what happens when you um, smelling, are having a heart attack. I'm smelling baked bread. What are you eating? That's not good. Funyuns. That's not what I'm smelling. Okay. If you're smelling uh, that, that's usually when people are getting set to have a party. Yes. Well, look at the stress I'm under. What stress? I'm trying to figure this out. Uh, Draco said, now I want to see the movie. I'm probably going to have to watch this now just to re-familiarize myself. Re-familiarize yourself. <laughs> Notice how I said re. Yeah, you might um, want to familiarize yourself. Can I just say, yourself. your ghost is freaking adorable. Thanks. Look at him. He's so cute. Well, I, like the, I, I mean, want him like as the, a friend. 
I love him. Well, Costa makes him feel good. Jeff Perry said SCTV. Mm-hmm. Are you familiar? No. Hmm. Do you know what SCTV is, Dylan? I do. No, I don't hmm. know. Jeff Bell said you that. You northerners. That's a big Twinkie. <laughs> um, Matt Bunn said, my, an- my uncle is Rusty Nail. <laughs> what? Draco said he wanted a new drug. He's talking about Huey Lewis. Did it make him sick? Hank said. <laughs> Hank said, did it keep him up, keep you up all night? Um, Jeff Perry said, stripes. Spud said, want some coffee? Sure sounds like a great idea. Spies like us. Hank said, did Roxanne have to turn off the lights? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know any of these references. I'm so lost. So bad. You know that song? Which one? Roxanne. Oh, oh, that one by Sting. By Sting. Or the Police. Was it Sting? Was it a Sting? It was Sting. I think it was Sting. Hmm. Uh, Jerry Jerry Armel said, "I love the sense of Funyuns in the evening." Sorry, (laughs) band called the Police. You don't get any credits for this song. Was it all Police? I don't know. (laughs) Jeff Perry said, "Only the red one." (laughs) Turn off the lights. I thought it was you don't have to turn on the red light. You don't have to turn on the red light. You're not even singing it right. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your tent? <laughs> <laughs> but she's all, right. Draco said, that's a fact, Jack. Julie said, if you smell toast, it's a stroke symptom. That's what I said. Wouldn't that be a show? If I had a stroke oh, right now during the broadcast? I mean, just for show purposes. I'm not smelling toast. I'm smelling baked bread. Could just be a craving. Um, Jeff Bell said, we need Itty to write a screenplay from memory and we I, should all make this masterpiece. <laughs> I think it'd be great. I already love the beginning of Ghostbusters. Scene. Enters the woman, the mom, with her baby in a crib. And then a ghost shows up and steals the baby and hightails it for the museum. Quick on their tail is the Ghostbusters with Dr. Ergo. <laughs> and they're with their backpacks. Or Egon or whatever. Dr. Egon. And who else? <laughs> Peter Sellers. And who else? What was the other guy's names? I don't know. Come on, babe. I give up. Don't give up. I obviously don't know this. Um, Jeff Bell you said don't know this? the guy named himself a verb and he does tantric. Gross. No, you don't know this? Who's... I don't know this. <laughs> Who's... <laughs> Who named himself a verb? Sting. Oh. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Hank said, I once saw the police pull a sting while turning off the red and blue lights. <laughs> Julie said, that would be horrible and it's burnt toast. My bad. Okay. Well, I'm not smelling that. I'm smelling freshly baked bread. Hmm. Um, however, there is a lit candle in oh, the that's... gingerbread house next to me. Johnny's dumpster. There's no lit candle in there. It's a, it's a it's tea light, a... a tea light battery candle. It's, it's probably a... hot. oh my god, it's hot. It's melting. It's, it's not. not. Uh, Justin Weir said this reminds me that an awesome looking new Ghostbusters movie, Afterlife, was supposed to come out in July. It's been delayed until next year now. So it's based on the same premise. Then have, uh, heard have I heard this? <laughs> Do I notice? Yeah. Paul Rudd. I do yeah. like Paul Rudd. Um, Paulus Ruddus. Jeff Bell said almonds. If I smell almonds. I'm not smelling almonds. I'm smelling No, I smell it now. It's the, smell? it's the gingerbread. Dork. Is it? <laughs> Dork. <laughs> I am sitting a foot away from <laughs> six houses. <laughs> Five. Um, Hank said Carl Winslow. Don't forget about him. All right. Can somebody please give me the facts? Do you know the Ghostbusters movie, Dylan? Do you know this? I know some of it. I mean, it's... What's before my time? Do you remember Sigourney Weaver with the baby in the crib? Yeah. Okay, so what was that all about? Well, she had like the painting that was possessed by the ghost. Ghostbusters one was what we're talking about. Oh well then. Oh, I thought that was one. Okay, so what? Who's in one? Who's the chick in one? Oh, Same girl. Did she her? Sigourn? Did she have the baby then? <laughs> was there still a baby? You're so worried about the baby. Why do I want was there this a baby? baby so bad? Was there a the baby? The first one was just the big dough guy, right? <laughs> it's just as cool 
clueless. Yeah, pretty much the Do you uh, clearly you guys watched the movie at the same time? We probably I mean, did. A little before my time, but whenever. Was I? I didn't grow up watching it. Like Neither did I. I grew up with like Lion King and stuff. So. Okay, let's hear about Lion it's King. It's a solid movie. Let's talk about that all day. Oh, God. He knows all the songs. <laughs> I just can't wait to be a king. Mm. Maybe try to find the key next time. No, she's she's all <laughs> she's all about her in the key of my own. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> How funny. Um, Russ said, "Love to see the red bullet tail light lens." Um, Draco said, "Paul Rudd doesn't age ever." True story. Uh, Jerry Amaral said, "What character character Girl, did Kevin Paul. Bacon play in this movie?" Yes, he's going to be in. In what movie? In Ghostbusters? He plays the angry ghost. Kevin Bacon? Yeah, you didn't see that? I think Kevin Bacon was probably the baby. (laughs) No. He was little. He's old. How old is he? He's almost 63. Huh? When was Footloose? 87? No. You're not putting any of this together, right? 85? When was this? When was this? In the 80s. When was this? All right, so maybe he was. So he played. Okay, a, so maybe he, he played a young man. Just think of young man. He was like in his twenties, maybe in thirty. Now. When how old was this? Um, Cliff Beaver said just made it thirty degrees in KCMO. Do you know what that stands for, Dell? Kansas City, Missouri. That's Come on! Come to, on! I was gonna guess that. <laughs> I'm surprised you even knew that Kansas City was in Missouri, not Kansas, like everyone else. There is a Kansas City, Kansas as well. Well, it's like, isn't it like on the border? I don't know where it's located. Isn't that what Kansas City is like in the town in the middle? But it's mostly in there. Are you smelling the bread? No. Oh, you're just having a weird... Come sit over here and smell the bread. Me. I don't want to be near you. Oh my God. Oh. You don't want to be affiliated? Hank said, wow, GB1, not GB2. I don't know the difference. Ghostbusters 1, Ghostbusters 2. I know. Obviously, there's a difference between one and two. I don't know what the plot is on either one of them. This is true. Julie said, I always sing in the key of me, as do I. Hank said, in the jungle, the mighty jungle, the stay puff sleeps tonight. Jeff Bell said he danced a lot. Uh, Jeff Perry said he played alongside of eggs. Hi. This is all for Kevin Bacon. Hank said, the dingo ate the baby. That's why there were so many ghosts, the mega ghosts. Jeff Bell said, let's go play some ghost tractor chicken. Uh, Jerry Amaral said, wasn't he the guy that sold them the Ecto-1? Was he the Ecto salesman? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I'm going to have to watch this movie, I guess. There's another hour and a half of my life I can't get back. Like it's such a chore to sit there and watch something. Um, to stay something awake, fun, right? To stay awake, it will be a chore. Stay away. You don't know the movie either. You can't tell us anything that's happened. All you did was support. You, did. you knew as much as I did about the baby in the crib and the main ghost. That's it. You couldn't even name the people in the movie. Yeah, who's in the movie? Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> Daryl Hannah. No, she was in Splash. Um, Sigourney Weaver. That's all I remember. It's just those two. Rick Murray. Moranis, Bill Murray. That's it. And Ernie. I don't know who that is. I think is. he was also in Oz. And that's all I can think of. Like he's in a bunch of things, but he's never been like a main. Big he was like a supporting. Yeah. Did he get an award? No. For what? Ghostbusters. Yes. The Academy <laughs> yeah, goes the Academy to. Was like, wow, this Ghostbusters. is just so great. Um. <clears throat> Halo said red wheels on the movie car. Draco said you need action in movies, you know, like Die Hard. Mm-hmm. Michael Allen said the baby was in GB2. Did it, is it red wheels? I don't know. I don't want to put red wheels if there wasn't red wheels. This is showing white. I don't know. Well, they always have hubcaps most of the time. Um, They all look white to me. Oh. That's red. Yeah. Let me see. Let me, let me find it. The correct me. one. Um, Jerry Emerald said Craigers. The McCoy said, check out Craven's Customs version of Ecto-1 out of Bogota, Texas. Or Bogota, Texas. Yeah, they built a rat rod ghostbuster car with working flamethrower on yeah, the roof. Yeah, you can't. Hmm. Everyone does it different. 
Um, Alan Shoemaker said to me more. She wasn't in this. She was in strip tease. I remember that. Oh, Demi Moore was in this. No, she wasn't. Mm -hmm. What'd she play? She played uh, the nurse. Um, Jeff Perry said no the, caps. No caps. When they go to the nurse <clears throat> hospital. Draco said the correct color is what you want it to be. So just this is your version of it. Hank said when Dan Aykroyd's character sees the ghost for the first time, what is he doing? Was he peeing? Was he in the bathroom? Why has it got to be always about peeing? Well, because that would be a, an inopportune time to see the ghost. I mean, any time to see a ghost would be inopportune. Justin Weir said, so tell me more about East Coast American geography. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You don't want to get me started. Jeff Bell said, I think it had a mini gun and a 50 calorie. 50 mount. calorie. He said Cal, 50 yeah. Cal. It's caliber, oh. babe. Oh. <laughs> you, know, you know how tanks work. 50 oh. calorie. Caliber. Stuff a couple cheeseburgers in there. Good <laughs> that would be way more than 50 calories. Please have a couple and you're good to go. Hold you over all day. Oh, my gosh. Draco said when you're peeing, you don't cross those streams either. That's right. <laughs> Usually don't pee in tandem. Can someone tell me the plot? Babe, do you remember they it? They hunt ghosts after they lose their jobs. Like, what else do you need to know? Lost their jobs doing what? I think they worked at like NYU or something like that. They were uh, paranormal scientists. They were scientists. Okay. Like and I said, they, so I was right. They had a show and they, they were being funded by a college. And yes, they lost their funding and they shut the program down. So then uh, some weird stuff started happening. And then uh, the mayor... Well, they were taking jobs for money. Well, they were doing, yes. They were busting ghosts for money because they did it one time and they're like, holy cow, we could do this for a living. And then uh, next thing you know, they open up shop and they start to doing paranormal research and doing all kinds of busting of ghosts and uh, kept getting it more intense and more intense because there was stuff going on uh -huh. in the, in the, with the force. <laughs> DZCF said one question. Which is present with you and Johnny. I hear a voice. It is a ghost. It is my son, who after this week won't even be here anymore. He's flying back to California, leaving us after being here for about a month and a half. So I'm sad. Um, Trenor Sear said Demi Moore stole the BMW from Dan Aykroyd and his twin brother. Was she really in it? I don't remember her in it. Jeff Bell said lots of people have third mortgages on their house. Why? Why? Is that a scene from the movie? Because He's got it in quotes. Because people don't normally, you know, sometimes they need help. Kathy Watson is joining us. That's Draco's lovely wife that we had the pleasure of meeting. Well, hello. Welcome, Kathy. My lady. Um, Julie said the remake was terrible and I love Melissa McCarthy. Oh, the female. Yeah, I, I didn't watch yeah, it. Yeah, I, I was... like her too. And Kate, Kate McKinnon was in that, I yeah. think. Did also, we? Leslie Jones. Leslie Jones was in it, too. Did we really, watch really it? really like her. No, we didn't watch it. Oh, uh, we didn't even see it. Because it was, um, you know, a movie. And we don't watch movies. Draco said, which ghost was Baby Yoda? Come on now. Hank said, going back to Cali, Cali, Cali. Yes, he is. Hitting the road. Hitting the skies. This one is shaping up nice, guys. 15 bucks for this. It's going to come uh, full color like you see it here. 11 by 17 size. Again, 15 bucks for this year's sketches. Until January 15th, we will be announcing new pricing. Um, when is the 15th? Is that a Monday? Let's see. We'll definitely prep you. We'll definitely prep you. Um, we've been offering free shipping. And um, we want to continue to do that, but it is costing us more to do that. So we're making up that price. A little bit. Um, the 11th is a Monday and we'll announce uh, by then, either during the live broadcast or on Johnny's page, what the new pricing will be. And that'll go into effect on the 15th. So grab them while you can. Indeed. Um, check out the website. I know it's not quite where we want it to be yet. Hank's still working on it. But in the meantime, he does have up on there all of our shirts, our two hats that are available and our two sticker packs that are available. 
with pricing. Um, the hats are 25, the t-shirts are 25, the stickers are only 10 bucks each and they, they're a three sticker pack. We have two of those. So pretty cool stuff available. And, um, like Johnny said, we, we still have quite a stock of that stuff, but, uh, we are going to be getting some new product in for the new year. Yeah. It's exciting. Yes. Um, Draco said a day after the 14th. Yes, it is. Thank you. Chango Norcal said the green slime again. Who was the first to be slimed? I don't know. Jerry Emerald said Doc Brown. <laughs> <laughs> um, if there was a crossover, it probably would have been Doc Brown. Or Biff, because he was slimed a different way in that movie. Um, Spud said Peter Venkman got slimed first. Who's Peter Venkman? That would be the doctor, Peter Venkman. Oh, that was the character? That's, um... Dan Aykroyd's character? No. Rick Moranis' character? No. Bill Murray's character? Bill Murray's. Okay. <laughs> I knew I'd get it eventually. <laughs> this one is super cute. You're going to leave the wheels green? I like it green. Yeah, I'm going to leave them like that. I like the windows a little yellowy. Indicative kind of, of slime. Very, uh, you know, that's how we do. Michael Allen said Bill Murray got slimed first. We appreciate you 32 viewers hanging in with us. Um, Johnny's making some pretty good time on this one. It's, of course, it's almost 11 o'clock, but uh, we're way under the two hours at this point, if he can pull it out. Um, Draco said Caddyshack. Not even close. That's a whole other movie. We already had that discussion that apparently I don't remember either. Even movies that I've just watched, I can't remember. It's crazy. I know Elf. Elf, I do know. I've seen that enough times to know the plot of Elf. So maybe we'll do uh, next next Christmas. We'll have to do an Elf episode, and you can do Santa's sleigh or something. So that's pretty cool. Story. How exciting! Yeah, yeah. Uh, Draco said it's getting tap out time for me. It is getting tap out time for me as well. Um, so I'm putting the final touches. Yeah, I'm just he's doing, doing final I'm adding touches. Adding a little slime action on seeping out of the door nice and it's green so was i right green slime in the beginning when i was asked what color is that right they were asking you for what was in the second movie but and it was actually a more of an orangey red because it was anger oh anger slime mm -hmm. oh jeff bell said ugly little spud isn't he and then julie said hey careful <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Bell said, do a Santa Slayer. Yep, we could. Um, Happy New Year to all of you guys, man. I know a lot of us are uh, Jones and to put 2020 behind us. Again, like we were saying last week, I think for a lot of people, it was a very challenging year. Um, I know for, for us, it, it was challenging just because we, we like to get out. We like to do things. So in that regard, it was challenging. We didn't. Thankfully, we were very thankful we didn't have um, the financial hardship. We both were able to maintain our jobs. Yeah, we were very, very, very fortunate, fortunate that way. Very blessed. But um, I think it. I think overall, the feedback we've gotten from a lot of people is that we we were kind of forced to slow down a bit as a society. Mm -hmm. And I think the people. Yeah. I want to say though. I think. Um, at least out of our group of people here and the people that participate, we've seen, we've seen some great blessing this year as well. And, um, I'm believing that next year is going to be a year of recovery for all of us. And we're going to see some great things next year too. So I am excited for what the future holds. Um, Alan Shoemaker said, you guys rock stop on my daughter's movie theater off 19 in Port Ritchie to get your F O M on. <laughs> <laughs> We'd love to. Well, that was the fan of music. Um, so maybe Johnny's FOF. What theater is it uh, off 19 in Port Ritchie? Because there's two. There's the small theater um, in the plaza. And then there's love. also the big movie theater. And are the movie theaters even still open now? So let us know. Um, Jerry Emerald said we kicked its ass. I think he's talking about 2020. Yeah, you Indeed. guys were so happy and... You guys, we we sure appreciate. Yeah, we're gonna because I'd like to talk about that. So for sure, is how appreciative we are that you guys spent 
in this whole year with us. Yeah. And especially through the, through the pandemic. This is where you came on Monday nights to hang out and just get a little escape from the baloney. And we appreciate Join you guys. Join in for, on our silliness. Because, you know, whether you know it or not, <laughs> you guys were as much therapy to us. Um, being able to laugh and joke and have fun and be silly and creative and all those things. We are very fortunate to have you guys uh, as well. So we appreciate it. Yeah, it was amazing. Always appreciate the support. Mm -hmm. We always appreciate the feedback on all of your posts on our pages. And I, I've said this before, feel free to friend me and I will become a friend of yours. We're talking about an itty B social media account for mm -hmm. me. So that may yeah. be something that we're rolling out in 2021 Got some work to do on that. We need to put some time in. And I, I really think, I mean, I'm not big on making a resolution, but I do want to resolve to put more into the business next year. We have we really did some extra stuff this year. I think we, we did great this year as far as um, staying on top of stuff and being more involved, but I want to kick it up a notch for next year. So hopefully we can do that. Um, Alan Schumacher said, oops, FOF, sorry. She owns the Cinema 6 behind the steakhouse, and yes, she's open. Oh, very cool. Um, give us her name, or if you don't want to put it on here, send it through Instant Messenger, and um, we definitely will check it out. I didn't realize that any theaters were open right now. Um, I've actually been to that one with the kids. Years ago, I went with the kids. I don't know how long she's owned it for, but um, it's a cool little place. Uh, Julie said, Happy New Year, dear friends. Um, Michael Allen, Happy New Year. Howard Pierpont, thanks for being there. Thank you for being there. We wouldn't be here if you guys weren't there. on the other end of this. So yeah. we're super excited that people want to tune in and want to watch. And we're, again, thankful for all the support. Hank said, Pins, patches, hoodies, mystery boxes. There are things in the works, guys. Um, Jeff Perry said, thank you for being my friends. Uh, we appreciate that, Jeff. And same to you. Jeff, I don't know if you saw or heard my shout out earlier, but, um, oh, you did. You got, we're going to do the hat for you. Okay, making sure I hit everybody on this list. Let's see if there's one more person. Um, Julie said she emailed, and then that should be it. Hank. Hank needs to let us know what he wants. So, Hank, we're still waiting on your order, too. We'll get all those out this week. Um, anyone who's ordered from us and is waiting for an order delivery, those will be going out. Um, of course, we weren't filling orders over Christmas, and um, today was too busy of a day for us to get to the post office. So that stuff should be going out this week. We appreciate your support and your patience on that. Uh, Spud said, what a great year together. Jalopy Army, you are greatly appreciated. Uh, Jim Pollen said, really appreciate all the shout outs. Looking forward to a happy new year. Indeed. Yes, we're wishing you all much success in this new year. We can't wait to see what's coming up for all of you because um, we know you got great things on the on the horizon. Yeah, for sure. So Jeff Bell said, people, let me tell you about my best friends. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Russ Randall said, thank you and happy new year. Um, Jeff Perry said, I've traveled the world and back again. I was going to do the firehouse behind, but it's not coming out how I like it. So I may add that after. That's going to take some time to get so it. It might in. be an added bonus then. Yeah. So. But you're definitely getting the ghost, the no ghosts, and the car. For sure. So would you do delete that then? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like how it was coming okay. out. Okay. Howard Pierpont said, "Met so many friends with this night. Ah, it is cool. It's cool to see the support that they are giving one another too. You know, outside yeah, of what we do, just awesome seeing how you watch. are." And, on social media with each other. Jeff Bell said you weren't filling orders over Christmas because you were busy looking at business businesses, decorated trees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did that's do true. the tree walk. We did the tree walk. That was one I don't like night. That either. One night. And that was actually prior to Christmas, and it was after we got out all the orders before Christmas. So anything that came in came in Christmas and later that we weren't able to fill. <laughs> oh funny. Jeff Perry said, I've got friends in low places. Don't we all? Don't we all? I really like this one. Digging it. 15 bucks, guys. Hit us up on email and um, we're going to get with Hank and see what our time frame is. And then uh, maybe we'll have some kind of rollout sale or something to kick off the new year once we have the new website and the shopping cart capability. That way we can test it. 
We'll test it. <laughs> Super well, there you go. Excited. I think uh, I think we'll call it. Okay, great. So this is uh, last episode of 2020, guys. The Ghostbusters car. The Ecto-1. I'm coming around. And Johnny's signing his name. And we're going to close out tonight's broadcast. And we're going to close out the year with all of you fine folk. Folk. Why do I say the L? I why don't why know. Why I say the L? It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Yet I continue to do it. All right. So again, maybe, maybe not on the firehouse behind. Yeah, I, I may not. I'm not sure. Oh, you're finishing up something here? Yikes, babe. What? You're all burping in my face. I didn't. That wasn't a burp. What was that? That was esophageal gas. Esophageal. <laughs> What the heck is that? I don't know. But it happened inside. It didn't come out. A burp would be something audible and tasteable. Mm. Well, I tasted it, all right. No, you did not. <laughs> there it is, guys. There you go. There is the last of the 2020s Sketchy Live Sketches, the Ecto-1 Ghostbusters car. Hopefully you dig it. Doing pretty cool, right? We ain't afraid of no ghosts. We ain't afraid of no ghosts or whatever what have you we're not afraid in general we have no fear that's right thanks so much for hanging out with us another monday night in the books Bizzooks. in another 20 another year in the books crazy three years we've been doing sketchy live uh and we sure appreciate why is my hair like, oh, like the reflection and we sure appreciate you guys uh hanging out with us and spending your time on Mondays. And again, those folks on YouTube, thanks for watching the broadcast. Thanks for hanging out. Please hit that subscribe and the uh, notification button and uh, get more uh, content from John Jalopy and Itty B. Uh, more to come in the future. 2021, we plan to post a lot of uh, uh, content and we'll probably drive you crazy. That's, You'll probably get sick of us. That is the goal for uh, next year is we're going to do that. And uh, again, hit up the website, johnjalopy.com. Thank you so much to all of you. Uh, stay sketchy in 2021. Anything you want to add there? Beautiful? No, I'm just thankful for you guys. Peace out, beanies. <laughs> <laughs> we might be doing beanies. Stay tuned. Yeah, there will be extra Johnny Jockey beanie. Maybe an ADB beanie. beanie. Who knows? Beanie. Okay, 2020. Should we sing Old Lang Syne? No. We'll see you next year. Bye, guys. Bye.